Hello everyone, welcome to Teacher Ezrin's English class. We meet again today and we'll be looking at module 9 on holiday smart kids. So, here we have 5 pictures of today's vocabulary. The first one we have forest. Repeat after me. Forest. Good. Next, we have pick flowers. Pick flowers. The third one we have river. River. The fourth one is make a fire. Make a fire. And the last one is catch fish. Catch fish. Good. So here, the first picture for us is hutan. Good. Pick flowers maksudnya sedang mengutip bunga. River ialah sungai. Make a fire maksudnya membuat api ataupun membuat ungun api. And the last one, catch fish is menangkap ikan. Good. Next, we are going to look at the textbook and a short video of this story. You can also refer to your textbook, page 86 and 87. Are you ready? Hi, Anna. What did you do at the weekend? Greg and I went to the forest. We had a lot of fun. Greg's dad took pictures. Look. I swam in the river. Greg caught a big fish. Greg's dad made a fire and he cooked the fish. We ate the fish for lunch. It was delicious. Then Greg and I picked flowers. They were beautiful. But then we saw a lot of bees and... Oh no! What do you think happened to Greg? Good! Greg was stung by the bees. Oh, poor Greg! Now, we will look at the yellow box here. So, just now, the story was told in past tense. So, here is a simple graphic that can show us about past simple or the, the type of tenses. We have present tense, past tense and future tense. When we use present tense, we are talking about something that is happening now. So, we have to use a present tense verb. So, in this sentence, he is tall. The verb is is. So, bila bercakap tentang masa sekarang, kita kena guna perkataan is. And then, when we talk about past, we have to use was. Bila benda tu yang dah berlaku, dah lepas, kita kena guna kata kerja yang menunjukkan ia telah berlaku. So, daripada is, dia akan jadi was. So, in this sentence, the example is, he was short. But now, he is tall. Maksud ayat tadi ialah, dulu, dia rendah, dia pendek. Tapi sekarang, dia dah tinggi. Okay, so good. So, here are the examples of past tense verb. So, let's look at the examples. What did you do at the weekend? I went to the forest. So, here the verb is went. Kalau present, ianya akan jadi go. So, here. I go to the forest. But, bila dah jadi past tense, kita kena guna went. So, dia akan jadi I went to the forest. So, here are some of the past tenses that you need to remember. So, go will be went. Have will become had. Take, took. Swim, swam. Catch, caught. Make, made. Eat, ate. 
si, so. So these are some of the past tenses verb. Next, today's exercises. You can either copy this into your exercise book or answer it in the Google form. So the first activity is activity 1, read, look and write. So here are the option of answers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then these are the story. You have to replace the picture with the words. Okay. Activity 2, read activity 1 and write. So you can refer to your textbook, read again and fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Next is the listening activity. For this one, I will also put it in the Google form and also in the Telegram group. So, I will let you listen to the audio now. Ready? Number 1. On Saturday, Bob and I went to the forest. It was great. Number 2. We had so much fun. We picked flowers and swam in the river. Number 3. I caught three fish and my dad cooked them. They were yummy. Good. So, that's all for today. See you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.